There's so much you can say about Dubai. It's a haven for expats, a world-class holiday destination, and a playground of the rich and famous. It's new, exciting, and vibrant, but also quite mysterious and, yes, often outrageous. Whether it's underwater railways, towering tennis matches, skiing in the desert, or actual gold that you can eat. Try not to marvel in its epicness. Here are 15 outrageous things you'll only see in Dubai. Number 15. Dubai's Underwater Rail Network If reports are to be believed, you'll soon be able to embark on an underwater bullet train journey to Dubai. Yet, yeah, as per the buzz, the country has bought 18 bullet trains from Japan at a whopping cost of $964 million. The proposed underwater bullet trains would be on the lines of the high-speed rail network between London and Paris. A number of countries, including Japan and China, are already using the technology, while a few more, such as Australia, Israel, America, and the UK, are planning to follow suit. Tourists from the Indian subcontinent have been the most frequent visitors of Dubai, and that's why the concept of the high-speed undersea rail is most likely to not only reduce the time and cost for the tourists, but also set to increase the influx of more tourists to the city. Now going from Mumbai to Dubai by train is not only possible, but by a breathtaking route under the sea. This high-speed rail will start from Mumbai and is most likely to end at the city of Fujaira, just an hour away from Dubai. The ticket prices are expected to be highly affordable for middle-class citizens as well. The 1,250-mile journey would take two hours of exhilarating or terrifying underwater travel. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Helipad Tennis Match. 15 years ago, Roger Federer and Andre Agassi were involved in an exhibition tennis match at the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, the great building of the city. However, there were no trophies at stake, no ranking points either. There wasn't even a score kept, well, an official one anyway, on February 22nd ahead of and to promote the Dubai Duty Free Championships, Roger Federer and Andre Agassi played tennis on the helipad on top of the Burj Al Arab Hotel. For one day only, the helipad on what may be the most recognizable and luxurious hotel in the world was covered in grass and made into a tennis court some 1,053 feet in the air. They had to arrange a top-class photographer and a videographer for the helicopter shots. This was an absolutely amazing experience, Agassi told the press at the time. When you first get over how high you are and start playing, it's an absolute joy and it was a great time. I had no issues with the height as long as I didn't have to bungee jump off the side. Recently, Federer revealed that the idea to capture the images from a helicopter was actually his idea. It was amazing, he said. We had this picture-perfect day, no sandstorms, just a clear day, no winds, and one unforgettable game. Number 13. Robot Jockeys Racing Camels Camel racing has been around for thousands of years. Now, a robot jockey is commonly used in camel racing as a replacement for human jockeys. Developed in 2004, the robotic jockeys are slowly phasing out the use of human jockeys in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, and Qatar. The government initiated development of the robots at the beginning of 2001. Initial problems faced by the design team included the fact that the camels were conditioned to use of human jockeys. Early designs confused or frightened the camels. The designs were modified to include more human-like features, including a mannequin-like face, sunglasses, hats, racing silks, and even traditional perfumes used by human jockeys. Other technical issues included the condition that the robots and the computers would be put under, the high temperatures of a dusty desert environment along with a fast-moving and uneven ride. The robots are aluminum framed with a thorax, and the circuit box was about the size of a large book and controlled the arms that control the whip and the reins. The robot can also monitor and transmit the speed and heart rate of the camel. Number 12. Flying Hoverbike Police a year after a California-based startup showcased its hoverbike at a tech expo in front of the Dubai police, 
the company has returned with a new model and evidence its electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle might be, well, taking off. Making good on a deal signed in 2017, the designers have now gifted Dubai Police its first serial production unit of the S3 2019 hoverbike and has begun training officers to fly it. Ideal candidates will be able to ride a motorcycle and have drone operating experience. Video of one officer learning to pilot the hoverbike appeared online recently. However, they are limited by current battery technology, but said advances, particularly in battery energy density and introducing new materials like graphene, could increase flight times in the future. If you're not a member of the force and have a spare $150,000, the hoverbike could still be yours. Orders are open to civilians, but Segura Khan cautions that buyers are screened to ensure they can handle the new tech. In the U.S., the hoverbike has met Federal Aviation Administration guidelines, which means you do not need a pilot's license to fly the vehicle. Number 11. 23 Karat Gold Ice Cream A premium ice cream parlor has introduced a novel soft-serve scoop topped by an edible sheet of 22 karat gold which you happily gorge on without having to keep tabs on the ever-increasing rates of the yellow material. Called the Rolling Luxury, it's the most premium product served at the Dubai Dessert Parlor. The waffle cone is freshly baked and it's coated with chocolate outside. At the bottom of the cone is a sauce with hazelnuts and wafers. Once the ice cream serving is in place, a sheet of edible gold of the finest quality is added to it. Pearls and stars of sugar along with saffron are also sprinkled. Scoopy Cafe, a recently launched gourmet ice cream shop, offers what might be Dubai's most expensive ice cream sundae. The Black Diamond is a sundae made with vanilla bean ice cream from Madagascar, saffron from Iran, rare black truffles from Italy, and 23 karat gold, edible of course. It's all served in a Versace bowl with a Versace spoon, which you can get to keep. One big bonus, the ice cream scoop at Scoopy is made with liquid nitrogen, which means it's frozen at extremely low temperatures, resulting in a creamy, smooth texture. Delicious and pricey. Number 10. Gold to Go ATM It sounds like a tacky casino attraction, but a gold vending machine that's been set up at a hotel in Abu Dhabi is the real thing. A five-star hotel installed the Gold to Go ATM in its lobby as the first permanent gold vending machine in the world. By removing the overhead costs of a brick and mortar store, gold to goes people suggest that the service it offers its clientele is one of supreme value, bolstered by the opportunity to invest in economically stable, tangible goods available in the blink of an eye. Offering 24 karat bars in one, five, and 10 gram sizes, the ATM also has a built-in gift box option Inside these gift boxes, gold coins and bows with symbols such as a maple leaf, kangaroo, and more can be churned out as lavish tokens of affection that will avoid the aforementioned dreaded wilt of fresh cut flowers. The machine contains a computer that tracks the market price of gold in real time. Fail safes are built in to prevent money laundering, including a maximum of three purchases in a single day and a required ID scan accompanying all purchases exceeding 1,000 euro. Balancing out such practicalities is the lone fact that the machine itself is plated in gold leaf, which makes it a delightfully literal gold ATM. Number 9. The Dubai Frame This iconic structure frames impressive views of old and new Dubai. The world's largest frame, it serves as a massive metaphorical bridge that connects the Emirates past with its opulent present. Look north and you'll see Dubai's older, more historic neighborhoods framed within the great shiny structure. Look south and you'll see the modern, glitzy buildings and flashy skyscrapers for which the city is so famous. The frame is one of the more surreal silhouettes to have appeared on the city's busy skyline in recent years. Its paired black rectangular form makes it difficult to discern its scale. From some angles, it looks like an empty roadside billboard stripped of its advertisement, from others like a gargantuan triumphal arch. With the temporary air of scaffolding structure, some locals have asked when it's actually going to be finished and filled in with floors. It has already become a popular backdrop for selfies, providing a glitzy no-filter border to countless couples' romantic poses in Zabil Park. 
rising 275 feet above the park and crested with swirling golden motifs that glisten in the desert sunshine, the Dubai frame has finally opened almost a decade after it was first designed. Number 8. The Underwater Hotel For the high roller looking to spend thousands of dollars a night on a hotel room, these downright outrageous accommodations where underwater views and gold-laced bath amenities are part of the package do the trick. Take a private lift to your three-story underwater suite and discover a whole new meaning to sleeping with the fishes. Floor-to-ceiling windows provide guests with panoramic views of the Ambassador Lagoon, a 3 million gallon aquarium filled with more than 65,000 marine animals, including sharks and stingrays. In-room thrills include bath amenities, sparkling with 24 karat gold, and 24-hour butler service. Everything is catered for, so you and your loved one can forget the world and enjoy every moment. The only thing more outrageous than sleeping in an underwater shark-filled lagoon is swimming in one. On your second dive, you'll find stingrays. The backstory? Khloe Kardashian was in town for her stylist beauty seminar and bedded down in this Instagram-worthy suite. I have a stingray as a boyfriend now, she jested, but not so shocking considering Dubai's outrageous levels of over-the-topness. Chloe felt right at home. Number 7. World's Fastest Police Cars In Dubai, the police force have been presented with a certificate by Guinness World Records for having the world's fastest police car in service. A super-fast fleet of luxury supercars may sound outlandish, but it fits in perfectly with Dubai, a city where a Bentley or Rolls Royce needs to be wrapped in gold in order to have anyone look twice. A Bugatti Veyron is just one of its 14 strong fleet of supercars that also includes such beauties as a McLaren MP412C, Aston Martin 177, Audi R8, Mercedes-Benz SLS, Ferrari FF, Bentley Continental, just to name a few. The previous record holder belonged to the Italian police force, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP564, which has a top speed of 230 miles per hour. But Dubai's police superfleet isn't used for high-speed chase downs or very many police duties at all, for that matter. Instead, the cars cruise around the luxurious state of the art city in search of tourists and attention. But the flagship of the fleet is the Veyron, with a staggering top speed of 253 miles per hour. Its 16-cylinder engine produces 1,000 horsepower, sending it from 0 to 60 in just two and a half seconds. Number 6. Dubai Miracle Garden Classic Dubai The city has established what is possibly the largest flower garden in the world at the Dubai Miracle Garden, planted on over 775,000 square feet of land. The garden creates massive designs and shapes using fields and flower beds using a seemingly impossible 45 million separate flowers in Dubai's harsh desert climate. The caretakers of the garden claim that the growth is possible through the careful reuse of wastewater and irrigation that uses the drip method as opposed to a more wasteful spray method. Seeing the garden in full bloom with its 150 million flowers arranged in colorful arches and patterns and the myriad shapes that they form is truly magnificent. Dubai Miracle Garden's breathtaking landscaping has earned two Guinness World Records for the largest vertical garden in 2013 and world's largest flower sculpture forming the shape of an Airbus A380 in 2016. No matter how it's achieved, the staggeringly colorful fields of blooms, shaped like hearts and igloos, and built up to look like famous buildings, seem like something out of a fairy tale. The effect is undoubtedly intentional. Number 5. Skiing in the World's Biggest Mall Not content with the 103 or so Guinness World Records it already holds, including world's tallest building, longest handmade gold chain, and, oh yeah, largest tennis ball mosaic, Dubai is also going to be home to the longest indoor ski slope. The Gulf Emirate is known for extravagant projects and scorching temperatures and has announced it will build the world's largest indoor ski resort with a 0.75 mile run. Dubai's current indoor ski resort, opened in 2005 in the Mall of the Emirates, remains the largest in the world, according to the Guinness World Records website, boasting a half-mile slope. The slope runs year-round despite summer temperatures in Dubai that can get to next-level hot. The new covered ski resort comes as part of a scheme dubbed Maiden One, also to include the world's tallest residential tower at 2,333 feet, a dancing fountain sweeping in at 1,378 feet, a vast shopping center, 
350-room hotel and marina. Estimated to cost up to 6.8 billion US dollars, the project would extend from the maiden racetrack in the Emirates Desert to Burj Khalifa, the world's highest tower. Snow there is produced year-round, despite temperatures that can reach 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 4. Palm Jumeirah Island Construction on this insane group of islands began in 2001. It was constructed through a process of dredging up over 3 billion cubic feet of sand from the Persian Gulf and then spraying it into place, adding nearly 50 miles to Dubai's coastline. Hotels line the trunk of the palm tree, while villas and homes sit on the 16 fronds of the island. The first homes were handed over in 2006 and, at this point, the island is packed with hotels, apartment buildings and construction. The government-owned developer behind the project expects 120,000 residents and workers and 20,000 tourists on the island when it's all said and done. However, all of that comes at an environmental price. Some researchers believe the construction of the islands had a drastic change on local marine flora and fauna, coastal erosion, and wave patterns. In 2006, the World Wildlife Fund declared that Palm Jumeirah's ecological footprint was the highest in the world. And in 2009, the New York Times reported that NASA satellites had found that the Palm Jumeirah Island was sinking at a rate of 0.2 inches per year. And nearly all of Dubai, including the Palm Islands, could be underwater due to rising sea levels. Number 3. Solid Gold Lamborghini when you have quite literally everything, or at least the capacity to buy whatever, what do you get? How about this $7.5 million solid gold Lamborghini? Carved from an 1,100-pound block of solid gold, the model will weigh 55 pounds. Labeled as the world's most expensive model car in the world, it's missing most of the motoring specifications car enthusiasts appreciate it for. The full-sized car is a beast under the hood, with a V12 engine producing 700 bhp that will take you from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.9 seconds. Automotive journalists have been especially intrigued by its fighter jet resembling design contours, which has led to one-on-one -on -one showdown on various airfields. Supercars are very common on the wide, state-of-the-art highways of Dubai. But a new record-breaking Lamborghini, made out of gold and gems, is sure to turn heads. Starting price for the eventual auction is set at $7.5 million, of which 650,000 of it will go to charity, according to the manufacturer's website. Although not made for the road, it does come with three entries in the Guinness Book of World Records, including the most expensive model car and the most secure showcase featuring bulletproof glass and the most luxurious logo. Number 2. Sidewalk Skiing Sidewalk Skiing Sidewalk skiing, the perilous driving stunt that involves balancing a car on two wheels, is growing in popularity among young Dubai drivers, who risk their lives to show their skills and impress an audience. The culture has spread and now many youngsters are doing racing, drifting and sidewalk skiing, which is considered the most controversial phenomenon in Saudi society. It's a perilous driving stunt in which passengers perform all kinds of tricks, such as standing on top of the car, hanging out of the window, or even changing tires at high speed. Some even lie on the road as the car passes over them. The stunt has gone beyond the local framework and reached the international channels, which conveys some serious footage of the movements practiced by drivers. These performers, who show off their risky skills through social media, have a large worldwide audience as their crazy performances always leave people shocked. The government has increased penalties, such as traffic fines, through stricter legislation in order to stamp out this dangerous form of driving, which has become widespread among Saudi youth. You can see why footage of this dangerous driving goes viral. Number 1. World's Longest Urban Zip Line Located in Dubai Marina, XL Line is one of the steepest and fastest zip lines around the globe, measuring almost half a mile in length, up to 300 in height, with an average speed of 50 miles per hour. With views of the glitzy Dubai neighborhood, complete with five-star yachts and sleek high-rise towers, there are two concurrently running zip lines, which means you can share the experience with a friend or a loved one. You can also relive and share the action thanks to the cameras mounted on your helmet, with every participant receiving a customized video and photographs. Dubai believes in satiating the needs of every kind of traveler. If you ever wanted to be like Superman, then this is your chance. You will be placed belly down with the help of the superhero-style harness, which will make you feel like you're flying. 
from the top of the Amwaj Tower, you'll find yourself weaving through the towering skyscrapers and over the urban landscape of the Dubai Marina. Although the whole experience may last less than a minute, it will take you almost 90 minutes, including the registration. So make sure you manage to keep at least two hours for this experience. Those were the 15 outrageous things you'll only see in Dubai. Thanks for watching.